things are popping. Pop. I feel the Delphi way. We're gonna drop it. Drop. On all the music they play on the bandstand. Bandstand. Lovely, lovely. Let me jump in here and sit beside you for a minute. If I were to say to you on cue, ladies and gentlemen, here is America's oldest living teenager. What would that do to you? <laughs> stop, 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 stop. <laughs> years and years, no, not years and years. Not too long ago when we do our good old rock and roll show, you were a keyboard player with us and that was your cue. I never knew you sang. You always knew you sang. Had you always intended to do that? Yeah, but I didn't know I, I didn't know I, I didn't know I, I didn't know I know I know it. <laughs> He's also New Year's resolution with me. He's going to learn to speak. <laughs> I, did, I did that the other day. I, said, I couldn't get words to come out of my mouth. What happens when you sing and that happens? Because when we do this, we can just make it up. That's another situation. Well, because you're recording, you just do it again. Well, you just plug it in. How did it come that you did this song with Quincy? You've written songs. You've made demonstration records. How did this thing happen? I was singing demos for ATV and got a chance to do this demo for Barry Mann and Cynthia Well. Barry Mann and Cynthia Weil are amongst the, the most re renowned composers of our time. Now, what happened when Quincy heard your demonstration record? He told me he liked my interpretation, and asked me that I want to come and sing it on his album. And it's a smash. And it... <laughs> what are you going to do for a follow-up? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah. oh, no, we're going to sing a hundred ways. Well, no, no that's, the, that's the next song. been about two, three weeks now. But you are making your own album. Will you work with Quincy on that? Right. We're in the process of doing that now the next couple of months. Will it have some of your compositions in it? If they're good enough. Now you say if they're good enough. Is that if Quincy says, yeah, that's good enough for you, say? Well, if they hit song, well, it's up to Quincy, you know, yeah. but. Can you tell if you write something or that's right for you? Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a hit. I can write a good song, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a hit. And I want hits. I wish you so much good luck, James, because not only are you a fine musician, you're a gentleman, you're a kind nice man and there should be more of you. Will you do that thing we're talking about, the follow-up record? Right. You want to sit and play or stand up or what? No, I'll stand. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, one more time please, James Ingram. Yeah. 